Welcome to Part of My Imagination. I'm Imagination and you're the Imaginers. Welcome back if this is your first time. My name is Jasmine and welcome back if this is your second or third or however many times you show up here. As you can tell, I got spooky vibes going on because hmm, I'm going to be talking about all the books that I'm going to be reading for Black O Weenathon. And this readathon was created by a locked booktician. Um, so go ahead. I will have her channel locked link locked wow okay link down in the description below so you can find all the prompts she does have a google drive going on so she has all the documents so you need, if you need to find any of the prompts you can find that all down at her channel so be sure to check her channel out and check out the video specifically for the reading announcement um this readathon is going on th all throughout october so october 1st all the way to, oct to october 31st why can I not talk? Words are so hard. But yes. So um, the only thing that you really need to know is the group book is Giovanni's Room by James Baldwin. And James, this book is following um, a male character um, in 1956 who is living in Paris. And he's just dealing with his life of... Um, his frustrations and relationship with other men and stuff like that and that's kind of all I really know about it I do know that this is one of James Baldwin's like very known famous works like if you know James Baldwin you know about Giovanni's Room either you've read it or you have heard about it I have actually never read it it is on my TBR list to want to read I don't own it but I do plan on uh picking it up um but yes I will be reading the group book and I'm reading it for the I'll just let you know what prompt I'm, I'm, I'm going to be reading it. But yes, let's just get into all the books that I'm going to be reading and the prompts for the readathon. Okay, so another thing to know about this readathon is obviously all the books are going to be by black authors. Um, and the prompts are going to be supporting you being able to find um, different books in these categories by black authors. So yes. And the first prompt is a fantasy book. And I have, I'm going to be reading The Stone Key by N.K. Jemison, and that's this right here. It is the last book in the um, Broken Earth trilogy. And if you don't know what this story is about, it's essentially following this girl who, or it's follow, the first book is following three women, uh, a small child, a like mid-adult and a older woman and essentially they live in a world where the earth breaks every couple of hundred of years the earth will break and there are these people that can um pretty much affect the planet like they can they can bring like they can stop the earth from like having an earthquake and stuff like that and they have like different types of powers um and it's just following the three stages of these women dealing with this power and that's all I'm going to tell you because I can't tell you anything more because I'm just going to spoil it. But I did read the second one um, last month in August. And I do plan on finishing out the series this month. And I'm pretty excited about it. Alright, and the next prompt is to read a book by a black queer or non-binary or LGBTQ author. And that it, I'm going to be reading the group book which is Giovanni's Room by James Baldwin. Um, I've already kind of told you what it's about, so I'm not going to re-go into it. All right, so the next prom is a book that deals with a black mermaids or sirens. And I'm going to be reading A Song Below Water by Bethany Morrow, C. Morrow. And this book is pretty much following black sirens that are dealing with racism, sexuality, self-discovery, um, French, French, friendship. Um, and that's pretty much all I know about it. I've heard really great things about this book. I do, I, this has been on my TBR since I've heard about the book. I just haven't got the chance to actually pick it up. But I do plan on buying the book and I'm going to be reading it for this prompt. If you see me waving like this little note card around, it's because I have all the prompts, like the books that I'm reading on here. Because I don't own all of them. So I will have obviously the picture of the book somewhere in the screen. All right, the next prompt is to read a mystery book also by a black author. Obviously, all these are by black authors. 
Um, and I'm going to be reading Down Down the River Onto the Sea by uh, Walter Mosley. And as far as I can get from the summary, it's pretty much following the uh, number one NYPD's finest investigators. Um, and he's essentially dispatched to this car theft thing. And then he ends up getting, um, he's framed for assault essentially. And he gets charged and he get, gets sent to like one of the worst prisons ever. And then like it's following him like 10 years later after the event and him out of prison and stuff like that. And that's pretty much all I know about it. I picked from the list of, from um, her Google Drive, A Locked um, Bookticians. I picked her from her recommendations on there. And that's one of the books that I was like, okay, this sounds really interesting. And it's Walter Mosley. And I did want to start picking up Walter Mosley. So I chose that book. All right. So the next prompt is uh, to read a historical fiction book. And I'm going to be reading Their Eyes Were Watching Guide by Zora Neely Hurston. Um... And I don't know, I don't know what this is about. I just know that this is one of her like readily acclaimed um, books. I did read, um, what did I read by her? Hitting a Straight Lake with a, with a Crooked Stick. I read her short stories collection that was republished a couple months ago. And I really, really enjoyed her writing. Or I wouldn't even say writing because it's very old, old black English or A-A-V-E for sure. Uh, but I enjoyed her stories and I knew that this was one of her like profound um, acclaimed stories and it pretty much says like one of the most important works of the 20th century American literature um, southern love story sparkling with wit beauty and heartfelt wisdom um, a woman who refuses to live in sorrow but in a sphere of foolish romantic dreams it is a story of fair skin fiercely independent Janie Crawford and her evolving uh, selfhood through three marriages and a life marked by poverty, trials, and purpose. A true little... But yeah, and that's pretty much what this book is about. And I'm really excited to pick this one up. All right, the next prompt is to read a thriller book by a black author. And I'm going to be reading The Cutting Season by Akisa Locke. A oh, yeah. And this book is pretty much following this girl who like gets sent back in time and discovers hidden secrets about her family. This is also another book that I do not own and I found on uh, that good, good Google Drive um, recommendations by Locke Beautician also. Um, so if you don't have something for one of these prompts, obviously you can choose one book to meet all, all of the prompts. But um, you can get some recommendations off of her uh, Google Drive link. All right, so the next prompt is to read a book that is discussing intersectionality. That really, I don't know why the word's so hard for me to say, but I apparently can't say that word. Um, but I chose the book Under the Udela Trees by uh, Chinlo Aparo. I don't know how to say her last name, so I'm not going to butcher it. Um, but I will have it in the review because I, I can't say her name um and it's pretty much um by a nigerian american author and it's following this girl set in the 1960s in nigeria um who is growing up in war torn in war torn nigeria who must come to terms with her sexuality and the conflict this presence in society um this was another book that i got from the google drive recommendations all right so the next prompt is to read a book about a black witch and i'm going to be reading Conjure Women by Afia Akatora. And this book, I just, I recently actually just hauled this. And it's pretty much following, I just remember that it's following this girl who is obviously like in a witchy family and it's following like her three generations. And that's kind of all I know about it. And funny, because I just realized it when I was rereading re, 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 re the, the end slot. They gave me two covers. So in the event that I ruined one, your girl's got another. And yeah. All right, and last but not least, the last prompt is to read a book by un underrated black author. And for that, I'm going to be reading She Would Be King by Waitu Moore. And I'm I'm choosing her as an underrated author because I haven't heard anything about, granted that could just be my own ignorance. Um, but I haven't really heard anyone talk about this book and I do know it came out last 
I want to say two years ago, and I, I haven't heard anything about it, but I've seen it, and I was like, I totally want to read it. Um, but this also has witchy vibes to it, and the only reason why I say it has witchy vibes, so it's following this girl who pretty much gets exiled from her um, village because she is um, accused of being a witch, and that's kind of all I know about it, and I'm really interested to pick this one up and read it, and yeah, that's pretty much it.